You probably know that Cefepime has a great gram-negative coverage including Pseudomonas. It can even be used as a second line against ASBL producing bacteria if carbapenems cannot be used for any reason. Do you know that it has also a great gram-positive coverage including against MSSA, Streptococcus pneumonia, and Streptococcus pigeons. However, it has its own limits. Its greatness does not reach MRSA, Enterococci, or anaerobes. It is not active against them. Cefepime penetrates the blood-brain barrier in adequate concentration and for that reason can be used for CNS infections. Cefepime is available in IV forms only. It requires renal but not hepatic dosing adjustments. If while on Cefepime your patient develops confusions, agitations, lethargy, or any form of encephalopathy, also myoclonus, aphasia, or seizures, especially within the first four days of treatment, discontinue Cefepime immediately. This could be Cefepime-related neurotoxicity. As a general statement, we can say Cefepime is ceftriaxone plus pseudomonas coverage, but remember ceftriaxone is not that reliable against MSSA and is not active against ESBL producing bacteria. And remember, after all, to tailor antibiotics based on final cultures and sensitivity results. Thanks for watching.